and sent various disasters upon Pharaoh and his subjects, a people obstinate in denial. First, a great period of drought began in Egypt, where water was of such major importance. Agricultural products diminished in availability, and famine ensued. Disasters were occurring everywhere in the land. In them, however, Pharaoh and his inner circle did not abandon their perverse polytheistic practices. He devoted to the religion. Yet this was not all that God Following the drought, he sent powerful rains and storms, the like of which locusts and lice demolished the fields and the crops. Insects covered the cities like black clouds. All the cities of Egypt were plagued by frogs. They were everywhere, in people's homes and on the water from the river Nile and from the wells turned red with blood. The people were now red with thirst. However, they still continued in their denial. On each other's heels, Pharaoh and those around him attempted to deceive the prophet Musa with a cunning that was doomed. Musa, pray to your Lord for us by the contract he has with you. If you remove the plague from us, we will definitely believe in you and send the tribe of Israel away with you. But when we remove the plague from them, for a fixed term which they fulfill, all these have been confirmed findings from archaeological excavations. The Ipuver discovered in the early 19th of the catastrophe. Plague is throughout the land. Blood is everywhere. It was ruined in a moment. For nine days, there was no exit from the palace. No one could see the face of his fellow. Prophet Musa to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. God had secretly departed from Egypt at night. Himself as the owner and so called God of the children of Israel. In addition, manpower and set out after the children of Israel. The children of Israel came to the shore as they fled from and his men. By now, panic and despair engulfed the people of Musa. There was no means of escape. Yet the prophet Musa was devoted to God with great submission and trust. He said, Never. My Lord is with me and he will guide me. Commanded by God to strike the sea with his staff, as described in Surah 26, the Prophet Musa divided the waters of the sea, leaving a dry path in the middle, which the children of Israel immediately followed. Oh, and his sons were so audacious to chase the children of Israel into the sea. However, after the children of Israel quickly crossed to the other side, the war suddenly began to close in. Pharaoh and his army, taking him as a god, were all found in the Pharaoh and his 
These events are described thus in the We brought the tribe of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh and his troops pursued them out of tyranny and enmity. Then, when he was on the point of drowning, he, Pharaoh, be a sign for people who come after you. Surely many people are heedless of our signs. One striking discovery from this research is a ridge. This underwater ridge is found in the Gulf of Aqaba, an extension of the Red Sea. According to one interpretation, the path taken by the Prophet Musa led across. According to science, power coming from the east could have un. Doron Knopf, a professor of ocean sciences at Florida University, constructed a complete model of the ridge in the Red Sea in order to test this thesis. During the experiment, Professor Knopf observed that when the wind was applied to the model, a dry opened up. In this way, there is no doubt, of course, that God knows best. Archaeological findings shed light not just on For years, scientists have been searching for the Pharaoh's army. Their research has arrived at some striking. These images were taken in the Gulf of Aqaba, which connects the Sinai Peninsula to Saudi Arabia. This sand here and there. This seaweed needs to cling to a solid base. These seaweeds assume the form of the materials they subsequently disappear. Different property. There were no rocks. resemble the wheels of the chariots of Pharaoh's army. More astonishing findings emerged as the research found on the sand. This chariot wheel was in all likelihood left behind by Pharaoh's army, which was drowned under the waters.